let me just quickly share my screen so that um, we can get started. Uh, Michael, could you kindly confirm if my screen is visible? Uh, not yet. Yes, your screen is now visible. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very, very much. Um, so I'm going to be talking about artificial intelligence. I must admit, uh, I feel a bit intimidated um, talking about artificial intelligence to a lot of uh, technology experts, but I think it would be interesting to get this more perspective of a risk professional um, in terms of how um, artificial intelligence is changing the game completely for the banking sector. Of course, the banking sector has been a bit slow in, um, in adopting artificial intelligence. I tend to think of the banking sector as kind of um, an elephant. Um, banks do move, they do adjust, but the tendency particularly in the past have been to do it really, really slowly. Um, so in the past, the reasons why there has been limited adoption of um, AI for banks has been the first one, of course, a lack of a clear strategy for artificial intelligence. So the little implementation that has generally gone on has been more haphazard and restricted to just certain few key elements uh, of the operations of a bank. Also, uh, a lot of times there have been situations where there's been an inflexible and investment starved uh, technology core. It, it, banks generally don't change their technology very often. It wouldn't be strange even today to find banks that are using cost systems that, um, that are years old, because like I indicated, banks generally tend to make their shifts uh, rather slowly. You have instances and situations of fragmented data assets and I think overly just generally outdated models that have hampered collaboration between the business units and the technology teams. But even though we have had these um, restrictions, still the adoption of uh, artificial intelligence has been happening within the banking sector. Um, two things have sparked this uh, rapid increase in, in, in technology in the banking sector. The first one, uh, I think, was the global uh, crisis. The global crisis suddenly made traditional banking a bit outdated. Banks had to suddenly be innovative about how they make their money, innovative about how they reach out to their customers, mostly because of the suspicion that was associated with the global crisis, the losses that were associated with the global crisis and just the need to survive and thrive even in the midst of that crisis. So that sparked a period of innovation. I think the other period uh, that has sparked a period of innovation and adoption of artificial intelligence has been the recent COVID uh, pandemic that uh, um, the world experienced. There was a lot of emphasis on the use of technology to make um, life easier, to make life um, uh, a bit more seamless and effortless, even in the way we interact. So that dependence on technology uh, drove a lot of uh, innovation and even banks have had to kind of adjust and be able to serve uh, their customers better. But even more than that, I think one of the key spots on the rise of, uh, of fintechs, uh, the rise of the fintechs, in particular, the encroachment into what has generally been traditional banking by the mobile network operators has resulted in a lot of non-traditional competition uh, for banks. So suddenly banks are competing with very agile, very flexible, very quick organizations, and they themselves have also had to make those adjustments. Going forward, it's very safe to say there's, there's no choice at all. Um, 
artificial intelligence is changing the game so much, it's going to be impossible for banks to exist if they don't level up. The examples that come to mind uh, in, in making this point are examples like uh, BlackBerry, examples like uh, Nokia. This didn't adjust fast enough to the um, mobile communication advances in technology. And um, before we knew it, the organizations as a whole were more or less um, obsolete. So the same thing is going to happen with banks. Uh, banks will just need to adjust, adopt more artificial intelligence in order to map the way um, to the future. So in terms of the top reasons why banks uh, have been using artificial intelligence uh, so far and will continue to do so, the first one is around um, data analysis. So banks, like any other organization, collect a lot of data. Being able to sift through that data, make good use of that data, um, requires artificial intelligence, increased productivity, increased efficiencies, and of course the benefits that come with, um, with all the savings that are associated with streamlining um, your operations. But over and above that, the benefits that can be realized from a banking perspective of using artificial intelligence uh, include regulatory compliance and uh, fraud detection. The banking industry has had a colorful past, costing investors millions of dollars. Uh, different legislation has resulted in industry players being caught in violation of these regulations and therefore suffering very, very heavy penalties. It is therefore in the best interest of banks and financial organizations to automate compliance whenever possible. Using uh, things like a data management system allows for early fraud uh, detection and comprehensive audit documentation. Third-party auditing uh, services can be disruptive to regular operations when employees are called away from their desks to perform or to provide missing details or explain entries. With the right software, the right kind of machine learning, information captured in the system can be accurate and errors can be immediately highlighted or, or disallowed. As financial institutions increase their diligence, fraudsters will also alter their behavior. Uh, and as fraudsters alter their behavior, the pace at which this is going to be happening will be such that it will be important for banks to have an artificial intelligence capacity to be able to keep up uh, with, uh, with these changes. I, I generally uh, tell um, my, my colleagues within the bank that the challenge of banks is not just in keeping up with regulators, keeping up with our clients and so on. We need to keep up and stay ahead uh, of fraudsters. And definitely artificial intelligence plays a significant role in enhancing this capacity for banks. The other benefit of using artificial intelligence is improved and enhanced uh, investment evaluation. Interest income is only one facet of income generation uh, for banks. As a result, banks are generally continuously searching for lucrative opportunities to invest and get a healthy return. The right investment software can provide investment recommendations that match the risk appetite of the institution. They can accurately uh, evaluate client funding proposals given the industry specific information that is often difficult to, to understand. The third benefit is a benefit that has been alluded to uh, quite a bit throughout, um, throughout the day today. And this is around better customer experience. Ultimately, the way to thrive as a bank, as with any other institution, is to give the best service possible uh, to your customers. Artificial intelligence, therefore, uh, definitely facilitates this. Customers are constantly looking for convenience. Uh, for example, the ATM was a success because customers could access a vital service even when the bank was closed. The level of convenience has only inspired more innovation. Now customers can open bank accounts, can verify themselves using their smartphones uh, from the comfort of their couch at any time of the day. So this kind of convenience is going to go on. Banks will be challenged to make their products more specific to that particular customers. 
uh, more future oriented, better able to predict not just what the customer needs today, but what the customer is going to need in the future and very quickly position themselves to be able to meet that future need. So definitely if, if banks are going to be able to uh, enhance this capability, um, artificial intelligence is going to be a key part of making that possible. Then the next benefit is around reduced operational costs and also um, reduced risks. As much as we enjoy human interaction, it has one significant drawback, uh, errors are common and they can have very, very serious replications. Even when experienced employees are at the helm, the wrong keystroke uh, could expose the institution to liability and cause um, a lot of reputational damage. Decision management systems reduce this risk by creating logic flaws in data capture, combining predictive and prescriptive uh, technologies to solve business problem. You have uh, instances where uh, uh, instead of a particular process, having a lot of people involved in it, making different decisions at different stages, artificial intelligence can come in using the information that is available to the organization, information about the customer's demographic, information about the customer's um, the customer's transactional history. Artificial intelligence can all that can use all that information and make even better decisions uh, most times about what the customer needs, what kind of products to give the customer, how to price, um, how to price uh, those products, and so on. And this can therefore result in fewer errors, can result in lower operational risks, um, and also just result in greater efficiencies from an operational perspective. And this extends to the last benefit that I have listed there. And mm -hmm. this is around improved loan and facility evaluation. I think even now we are seeing a lot where instead of uh, someone manually going through uh, a credit application to look at every single detail and try to understand the customer, um, this is now being driven uh, by algorithms, by uh, machine learning, that learn the spending habits of customers, the, the finances of the customers, and make decisions about what kind of financing they can afford and um, whether or not um, the bank is okay to give them a credit facility. So with all these benefits around the use of artificial technology, it's really quite clear that it is a game changer and the banks that are slow in adopting artificial intelligence will definitely be left behind and run the risk um, of failing to compete and failing to operate. In terms of the, the value uh, that artificial intelligence and analytics can bring to the globbing industry, uh, this, was, this is from a survey that was done by, um, by McKenzie. And you can clearly see that we're talking about a significant value that's going to be created uh, by the push of uh, artificial intelligence. And the beautiful thing about how this value is going to, to, to materialize is that it's not just restricted to one aspect of the bank. It goes to the sales and marketing side, the risk management side, human resources, uh, finance and, uh, and IT and even just in general around all the other operations of the bank. All these are going to see a significant uplift in terms of the value they're able to generate just on the basis of what is happening in the world of artificial intelligence. Now, the disruptive, uh, the disruptive technologies uh, that are going to be facilitated by artificial intelligence are going to really drive uh, four main uh, outcomes. And these are number one, higher profits. Number two, at scale personalization. So which means you're personalizing at a huge scale, but personalizing to each individual client in terms of what that particular uh, client needs, what that particular customer needs. Uh, distinctive uh, omnichannel experiences, and lastly, very, very rapid uh, innovation cycles. Now, generally, 
this adoption of artificial intelligence is going to result in a boost, a boost of competitiveness uh, for banks. And this is why it is such a game changer. In terms of driving this competitiveness, the first aspect around this is that AI helps develop a better understanding of customers and their behavior. This enables banks to customize financial products, to customize financial services by adding a personalized uh, touch to it. Um, and, and this definitely is what customers are looking for, that personalized behavior that meets their specific needs. AI also helps predict future outcomes uh, and trends. This is driven by its power to predict future scenarios by analyzing past behaviors. AI therefore can help the bank uh, predict future outcomes, predict future trends, and therefore make decisions that are more future focused than just simply based on the past, which has generally been a trend in the past. Uh, I'm sure a lot of uh, us have certain meetings where you look at uh, simply the past performance and try and make decisions about the future based on that past performance. AI doesn't just do that, but what it does is looking at the past, it helps you to predict the future. And now you're actually making decisions about what the future looks like as has been mapped out by your artificial intelligence. Uh, another aspect that's going to help drive the competitiveness uh, for banks in terms of adoption of uh, artificial intelligence is cognitive process uh, automation. Um, this feature enables automation of a variety of information intensive, costly and error prone banking services, services like uh, claims management. This results in higher return on investment, it reduces costs, and it makes for very accurate and quick processing of services uh, that the customers need. You also get to have very re uh, re realistic uh, interactive uh, interfaces. Uh, I think in the last uh, conversation, uh, just before my session, there was a description of how technology is advancing so much. You now have applications that can almost meet all your financial needs integrated. You go into your app, you can do your banking, you can do your budgeting, you can do your forecasting. Um, all that can be facilitated by artificial intelligence uh, capabilities. Then effective decision making. Um, cognitive systems that can think and respond like human experts provide optimal solutions that are based on the available data uh, and expert information that uh, is contained in, in the database of knowledge. Again, this is facilitated uh, by artificial intelligence. And lastly, robotic automation of, uh, of processes. Uh, artificial intelligence is able to review and transform processes by applying robotic uh, process automation. This enables automation of a lot of the repetitive work that is um, in the, the various processes and uh, the, the various processes within the bank. And this allows knowledge workers to dedicate their time to value adding activities as opposed to menial repetitive, repetitive tasks. So generally there's a lot of value in, um, in adopting uh, artificial intelligence uh, for banks. Now, th that of course brings the question, how, well, what is the best way to do this? What is the, the best way to adopt, uh, to transition? from just being an ordinary traditional bank to being an artificially, an artificial intelligence driven um, institution. Now, of course, this was covered in greater detail in an earlier session uh, by Adonis where he was talking about creating an effective AI framework for a bank. But I, I've just kind of summarized some of what I think are the key aspects uh, of um, transitioning into an uh, AI powered bank. And the first one uh, is to develop an AI strategy. A lot of times we, we don't leave this, 
we, we leave this to different uh, units within the bank doing their own thing, implementing uh, one small aspect of artificial intelligence where they see it fit. But the best way to implement this is to have a bank-wide strategy where you identify the various areas where you can get the most value out of using uh, artificial intelligence. And after you have this overarching uh, strategy, you then go ahead and develop specific uh, solutions that are going to meet your needs. You develop specific interventions in the various areas um, where you have analyzed and see that you will get the most um, benefit from implementing artificial intelligence. Um, the third is to plan and use a, a case um, driven process. So after planning, this is now when you then come to the place where you, you start executing. If you notice in, in this uh, graphic that I have here, steps one, two, three are all around strategizing and planning. And I think that's a key element that is sometimes missed. I think because the world of technology is very fast moving, a lot of banks fall into the temptation of just starting to implement things without that bigger overarching strategy, without a detailed plan of how they're going to get the most benefit out of a particular um, uh, adoption of a particular technology. I think to approach artificial intelligence adoption in that way might result in a situation where you don't actually see the benefit and before long management teams are saying, no, but it's a waste of time. The way we've been doing things has been working properly. But if it's properly planned and it's properly executed and it's bank wide, definitely uh, then multitude of uh, benefits from uh, adopting uh, and transitioning into an AI driven uh, institution. So that is uh, my presentation. Thank you very much, uh, Michael. I will hand back to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was uh, quite insightful, uh, well detailed. Uh, maybe if I would just uh, probably ask a question in terms of uh, when it comes to using AI for predictions in terms of uh, leveraging AI to the point where it can be used to predict what the customer needs to do and sort of prepare for that. Can, would that, can, what kind of safeguards need to be put in place to prevent abuse of such? Uh, the, the the beauty about most uh, artificial intelligence implementations is that the controls are actually built into the artificial intelligence. So, for instance, if you're going to to predict uh, a particular customer's tests, it should you should be able to predict if someone is impersonating that particular customer. So, just the implementation itself should come with controls that allow you to protect yourselves uh, from uh, unscrupulous individuals. And that's one of the beautiful things about artificial intelligence. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, if we do come across any more questions, we'll share them on email and gladly request that you, you respond 